Did you know that we actually work more hours now than medieval peasants did back in the day? Oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> Welcome back to Speed Build Saturday. I'm your host, Fake Gamer Girl, and the way that I said that made this sound way more professional than it actually is. I've been in a little bit of a medieval mood today, so I decided to build a peasant's home in The Sims 4. However, this is not just any peasant's home. Oh no. Buckle up because we're in for a story today. Unless you're just not in the mood for my rambling today, in which I why are you here? Now, I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I am a dungeon master. No, not that kind, you dirty bastard. If you don't know what that is, it's basically somebody that runs a Dungeons and Dragons game, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically where a bunch of autistic adults get together and play pretend, but with lots of math. I basically run a Witcher game every other week at home with my friends, and the house that I'm building today is actually a house that is in my Witcher game, and it's also a house where somebody was brutally murdered inside. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's not so like cute and aesthetic anymore, is it? Probably not. So maybe I feel like some context might be required for this. But one of my players is playing a werebub priest. Now, if you don't know what a werebub is, think of like a teddy bear, just a walking, talking teddy bear. This is what a werebub looks like. But she's just a little cute little werebub priest. Um, but the religion that she follows is called Svablad, which basically means that she believes in a few unorthodox orthodox things because the worship of spa blood is illegal. Um, and it's mostly because she likes to, you know, participate in a few religious activities like cannibalism and ritual sacrifice, just to name a few. Needless to say, the vibes are a tad bit confusing. Now, the party didn't really know this for a good amount of time because she's so small and adorable and <laughs> quote unquote innocent. So nobody thought to, you know, question her about anything. She's just a little baby, you know? Um, and then they found out about her religious practice practices, but everybody was like, okay, that's a bit weird, but she's never done anything before. Like, she's literally just a baby. She's never killed anybody before. Right? Right? So, uh, the, 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 some things happened along the way. Her character started to get some very demented thoughts in her head, like very violent and evil thoughts, and she kept pushing them away, but they kept coming back. And eventually, she realized that there is a literal demon in her head. Now, where this demon came from, I can't say. I do know because I'm the dungeon master, but I also know that the player that is playing this character is watching this video right now, so I can't spoil anything. But needless to say, she is kind of maybe also possessed by a demon. You know, as you do. These thoughts started to get worse and eventually she came across this group of clergymen that really hated mages and were burning witches and they were all around not great people. So um, she lured them into the middle of the woods, summoned the demon in her hand and then butchered all of them by herself without telling anybody. You know, this might be a girl boss moment. Like, yes, girl, slaughter the evil clergymen. Yes. Well, the problem is the clergymen were were also the only salvation of the townsfolk. So without the clergymen, the townsfolk would essentially have no guidance and no support. So, you know, it was kind of a gray area moment, but you know, we let it slide, I think. She came back to town and told the party that she was attacked in the woods, so she completely lied. And the crazy thing is, she rolled deception so well that nobody has suspected anything. She just successfully lied to the entire party and has been doing so this entire time. And you might be like, okay, this isn't that bad. You're over reacting. I have not fucking finished. Blah, 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 yada, yada, gamer girl, you are yapping. Okay, I will get to the point of this build now that you have the context. You're welcome, or I'm sorry. Pipe it down with the attitude, okay? A couple of months have passed since the incident, and she still very much has a demon in her head, but she's keeping everything on a down low. The party arrives at a brand new city, and they decided to take up a contract, where this woman claims that her husband is cheating on her, but she has no proof, and she needs to find proof so she can take it to the church so they can grant her a divorce. Pretty easy, right? The party decides to stalk the husband and find out that he wasn't cheating on her. He just liked painting in secret because his wife doesn't let him paint. So he just like leaves in the middle of the night, goes painting and comes back. So the party goes back to the woman and says, hey, your husband's not cheating on you, but he is sneaking away to paint. So the woman gets very angry and says, I wanted proof of him cheating. I can't get a divorce just because he's painting. And she refused to pay the party. So kind of like a loser loser situation right? Well, the werebub was not happy about this. So this brings us to this build because this is where the woman and her quote unquote cheating husband live. And the reason that this is such an important build to me and also the party is because one night the werebub slipped away in the middle of the night. She snuck out of the house and broke into this house and butchered the lady just 
in cold blood decided to, you know what, ritual sacrifice? This is the best place to do it. All because the woman would not pay her. I don't know how morally gray you guys like to code this, but I, like, that was a bit horrific. <laughs> Which is why when we get to upstairs, because this is technically two houses in one and the lady lived upstairs, you might see a very suspicious blood stain. That's, that's where that came from. <laughs> she literally butchered the woman and then decided, okay, I'm gonna look for some gold now. She started going around the house looking between the rooms and she opened one of the rooms and heard, Mommy, is that you? And then she ran out of the house. She left a child motherless. So now, not only is she completely covered in this woman's blood, she ran, left the door wide open. The husband is very lucky he wasn't there because I'm pretty sure she would have killed him too. And then it needed to look for a well ASAP to wash herself off. Now the nearest well is also in the hunting grounds of a vampire. And so in the middle of the night, covered in blood, she goes all the way to a vampire's hunting grounds and surprise, surprise, gets attacked by a vampire vampire all by herself. And I know for those of you that play D&D, you probably think it's not that bad. In The Witcher, that is a death sentence. And you're supposed to have like four or five players attacking a vampire for it to be fair. Fair. And she went in there by herself and somehow, somehow she survived the encounter. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And that is where we left off on our last session. So she's gonna come back home covered in blood still and nobody knows she left the house and now she has an excuse for being covered in blood, which is the worst part. Because if she wasn't attacked by a vampire, the party would have been like, why are you covered in blood? And she'd be like, uh, I don't know. And then, you know, she lied. You could probably find out she's lying. And then the party can realize, oh my God, our friend is demented. But now she has an alibi because she can say, oh, I was attacked by a vampire. That's why I'm full of blood. And that that's not a lie. I don't understand. I don't understand. And I'm sure some of you are like, girl, this is make-believe. Like you literally all made this up in your heads. Yeah, okay, what game are we playing right now? Smarty pants. Literally everything about your Sims is a lie that you made up in your head. Now, has my player literally gotten away with murder? Not yet, or for now, I guess is probably the better way to phrase that. Cause I know a lot of DMs that are already watching my videos might be like, oh my God, it looks like we have a murder hobo on our hands. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. in my games, everything has a consequence, everything. Karma is my boyfriend. My play, and you don't understand, my players have done some of the dumbest shit I have ever witnessed in my life. And let me just say, this is me we're talking about. I, up until now, was the dumbest shit I'd ever witnessed in my life. And I know they're watching this right now, and I just want to say, you have no idea what's coming. You have no idea what's coming. And I can't say. No, no, no. That is a secret I have kept locked within my brainicles and my notes. I think one day it would be absolutely hilarious to recreate my entire campaign in The Sims 4. I don't even know. Like, I don't even want to know how much work that would actually take this game's been going on for like a year already and i don't know when it's gonna end because i have no idea what the fuck my players are gonna do i don't know i'll think about that i'll bank that i'll find a way to tell this story because it is fucking insane and half of you are already fucking checked out and the other half of you aren't even fucking looking now on to the actual build that i'm building today <laughs> Oh my god, it's almost over as well. I did use custom content in this one. I try my absolutely best to not use custom content when I build, especially for these videos, because I know people will want to download the builds from the gallery, but if you don't have the CC that I have, then it'll be empty. I just, I needed the medieval CC, okay? I downloaded it, and you can't stop me from using it. You might be like, where did you get it from? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but also, I am, I, I'm wanting to, <laughs> mm -hmm. English. I am wanting to delete all of my custom content from my game and start over, but also have a master document so that you guys know what my CC is. So that you guys can just open the document, go through all of the links, and download basically everything that I have in my game. And I was going to do that, and then suddenly the Sims 4 malware thing happened, where if you did not know, there are a couple of mods that have, like, malicious malware in them. So, like, yeah, that was that was kind of scary, and I was like, I, I don't think I want to delete my custom content right now. I don't think I want to go through re-downloading everything just yet. Maybe Maybe wait for this to go away. So uh, that's gonna be a little bit delayed, but it will happen eventually. Some good spring cleaning, I think. Basically the PSA and all of this is please double check everything that you're downloading. If you are going to download a mod that needs an update or has an update, but it doesn't say what the update is, I would just assume that that account has been hacked and probably has malicious malware, which is basically what happened. I'll put a list of the mods affected on screen right now, just so you can double check. You know, you never know. But what happened was there were a few really big mod 
creators that had their accounts hacked, and then the hacker decided to make a fake update for the mods, which had, you know, very bad things on them. So just be extra careful. And if you have downloaded any of these mods, just assume that your account has been compromised, delete everything, change all your passwords, blah, 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 you know the drill. See, my videos can be informative and helpful. It's not all just brain rot. And I feel like that this is my annual, not even annual, not even weekly. I feel like this is a daily beg for the Sims team to give us just something medieval, something. I know we had the castle pack, but castles are castles, you know? Like those are very grandiose and fancy. I want to be a peasant. I want to live like a peasant. I already feel like I have the IQ of a peasant. So just let me live a peasant life in The Sims 4. And you could say, go play The Sims Medieval, but it's like, I want, I want that, but in this, you know? I want a little bit of this and that. I want everything. I will never be satisfied. I'm a simmer. What did you expect? I feel like The Sims 4 really focuses on the best of the best. Like you want to be the happiest. You want to be the richest. You want to be the prettiest. You want to have the nicest house. I want dirt. I want grime. I want the plague. Listen, we all play The Sims 4 to deal with our trauma and some of us just deal with it differently, okay? <laughs> anyway, we're basically at the end of the build now. Thank you for sticking around and listening to my ramblings. I promise you that next week won't be so autistically charged. <laughs> be sure to head down to the description, click on all the fucking links because I put them there for a reason and always remember to